So often in this world, the most deserving are the ones who receive the least of the benefits of wellness and every form of wellness, especially children and especially in education. Children are, of course, the ones who need it the most and things we take for granted, like reading a book in many parts of the world, is just simply an aspiration. It takes a lot to impact a problem this dire, this persistent, and this global. It takes vision, commitment, a devotion to task, and not taking no for answer ever. Fortunately, we have someone who fits this profile here with us today. So before Omar and I present this award, let's hear from someone who knows this person best. John Wood is much more than my husband and a world-changing philanthropist. He's compassionate, he's empathetic, he's the most thoughtful human being I've ever known. He's intellectually curious, he also can be a fierce debater, but he's generous as a listener. He's fundamentally an optimist, which is why he can get on the stage in front of people and rally us all behind his cause and his message of positivity to help create world change for millions of children through the power of education. He does this all with a sense of humor, he's actually very funny, um, and a smile that brings all of us into his orbit. We all feel better for knowing him. Congratulations, John. I love you. Thanks. So we got a clue as to who it is. <laughs> <laughs> that was very subtle. Uh, through Room to Read, John, John Wood has impacted the lives of 16.8 million children, and that is only until now. And we hope that that is a long way to go still. And John believes that education makes people safer, healthier, and more self-sufficient. And he left a great job at Microsoft to prove this. And impacting particularly young girls at the primary school age, involving governments, local governments, families, and of course, educational institutions. And he seeks to truly transform the lives of these young girls and women so that they can break the cycle of illiteracy that keeps them from reaching for a full potential. Leaving Microsoft to Change the World is an award-winning memoir and where we and the world are all the better for it. And in fact, you know, his motto of a world free of illiteracy and gender inequality resonates very well with our moonshot of a world without preventable disease. So it's very similar, it's as big, maybe bigger. It gives me great pleasure, actually, it's an honor, to announce, on behalf of the advisory board of the Global Wellness Summit, the recipient of the Leader in Social Impact Award, John Wood. Wow, you, that, this is a total surprise. I had no idea this was coming. I was just sitting there, and all of a sudden, I'm like, oh my god, it's my wife. Why is my, why is my wife on, on screen? So it was really, Kathy, I'm guessing you had something to do with that? Maybe? I feel like you're plotting against me. Um, no, I've already spoken a lot, so the worst thing I could do is to make a long speech right now. But all I will say is I would love to accept this award. But for me, what's most important is to accept it on behalf of our team 
to accept on behalf of Room to Read's 1,700 employees, our 10,000 volunteers, our tens of thousands of investors, um, because we all know that leadership is not about one person doing things, it's about a group coming together. And so whenever we get something like this, we try to always stop for a moment and just reflect on how lucky we are to be surrounded by phenomenal employees, volunteers, investors, and partners. So um, I'm gonna have to scratch a few names onto this, onto this alongside my name. But um, there's a really beautiful surprise. Uh, I'm really excited to receive it, really humbled, and I hope to uh, meet many of you tonight at the, at the dance party. <laughs> Thank you. John. Uh, a little My wife did not say that, but I'm, I'm a horrible dancer, so I'll be <laughs> off, off, this, off the dance, dance floor. Okay, it's a little announcement while you're there. I also want to announce that a portion of the proceeds from the Global Wellness Institute online auction and also a portion of the contributions we're going to make in honor of our sponsors of the Global Wellness Summit are going to be donated to your charity. Awesome, thank you. Thank you.